Hi, welcome. In this session, let us see how to use Jenkins server to pull the SOAPY white test from a cloud hosting repository like github.com and run the SOAPY Maven test within Jenkins. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. We have our code in github.com repository. We can use our Jenkins to call from the remote GitHub repository and run our test in the Jenkins server. If you don't have a Jenkins in your organization, you can go ahead and use your local Jenkins server or you can install a Jenkins in a Linux VM. It's quite straightforward. This is my Jenkins server. I am logging as admin in our Jenkins and this has got other jobs in here as well. So before starting to work with Jenkins, to work with github.com or pulling down the code from github.com, we can check a few things in our Jenkins server. First thing is you need to have some plugins. So for that we go to the plugins, plugin manager and see that git is already there installed as a plugin in here. So if I search here, I should see that for this demonstration purpose we only need the git and the git client plug plugin in here. You can go ahead and search and install them whatever git related plugins are available for the Jenkins. And then we go to our global tools configuration and let us see here the first thing which we need to see is we need to see the jdk installation so you need to have a proper jdk in in the jenkins server and the jdk name and the jdk home should be properly defined if it is not there you can ask your team or you can also go ahead and set the java home for your jenkins and then the git installation you need to have the git installed in the linux server which is again like very simple step yum install git for centos machines and for ubuntu also apt get install git so it's a quite straightforward and then you need the maven installation here maven installation is you don't need to log into the machine you can just define and install automatically and it will download from apache side and install it for you and then we save it after the configurations are done in the global tools configuration for Jenkins. So that is about the configuration on in the Jenkins side. Now we need to create the job for pulling the repository from our github.com side which is having the XML project and the pom.xml and we go to Jenkins and do like new item and just name it as soap UI project. I'll just name it as soap UI project and select freestyle project and click okay and you can put a description if you would want to and this is the main thing here the source code management so under source code management we need to select git and we need to take the repository url from github.com so we come back to github.com and we get the repository url from here this is the full url for this repository udemy soap maven and we do a copy by clicking this button and come back to the soap ui project and just paste it here okay so jenkins has identified that this is a publicly available git repository so in case it was a private you would have needed to add the credentials in here by clicking this you would have need to provide the username password and all but in my case this is a public repository so jenkins has identified it and just didn't throw out any errors and then the branches the branch is master branch this is the branch where our code is there. We don't have any other branches for this repository. So I just need to provide star.master which Jenkins has already populated by default. The next thing is the build step. So we need to add the build step to execute the Maven test. For that you select this add build step and select invoke top level Maven targets. And this in this drop down Maven version you will get the one which we configured in the global tools so maven 363 was the version and the goal clean test so clean test was the one clean is for cleaning the old old targets or the old the previous runs log file and test is for testing the testing the project and then this is done for our maven and then we can go ahead and add our junit test report so for the junit test report let us go to our maven pom.xml and if we open this pom.xml you see where our reports are being put here and if you come to our maven pom 
dot xml for our project if you see the configuration and this our project endpoint jmunit report true and the output folder output folder is target share fair reports we just need to copy this target share fair reports where the reports are being put so this when we run this there is a jmunit report in the name of test dash test suite dot xml it will put we have seen that in our earlier maven runs in our local system so we will use the same report it will take that xml files and generate the report in, in jenkins so we come here and we provide this path we have to remove this slash because this is a relative path once we have the project configured so py project in jenkins inside that folder there will be a target folder created and then there will be a surefire dash reports folder so from that folder we need to read the xml file star.xml so this is the junit report and jenkins it requires the xml files to generate html report in jenkins and finally this is all done all the configuration whatever is required for the jenkins is done now we save this and let us do a run for this now build now and we see that our job is running in here let us go to the console output to see that our test is running now you see that our test has run and there is a success message in here so you can see all the logs and here same like how we have seen in our previous jenkins run in our local machine so let's go back and see the last latest test results and this is the rest countries and this has got two test suites here test suite 1 and test suite 2 so that's about creating the project in Jenkins and running it. We can, of course, put some more builds. And let's see that we can do some more runs here and see the test summary graph showing up in here. So let us do another one. And then let us do a refresh this page. And you see the test result trend showing up. Now all our tests are passing in here. So it's all blue in here. So everything is fine. So that's all in this session. Thank you so much.